Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you another um, arpeggiator tutorial. Uh, this time we're going to take it up a notch and we're going to actually create something that kind of sounds like this. Uh, let's see. So this is um, a patch that I came up with. Um, it basically uses a few different ways that we're going to root through our, um, our arpeggiator. And we're going to actually use two arpeggiators to give a different feel on the left side than you are on the right side. And um, so let's get started. And uh, I'll take you on a walkthrough of it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a combinator. I am going to um, actually, we don't want to do it there. We want to do it down here. I'm going to add in my own little empty combi template. I'm going to create, uh, let's see, let's create a subtractor. Okay, then under the subtractor, I'm going to create an RPG-8. Um, what I'm going to do on the subtractor is I'm going to move this up to a sine wave. I'm going to move the cent value down by 4 and this, this cent value up by 4 so that we have a little bit of a... Um, a detuned effect. I'm going to also turn on the oscillator. So that's kind of what it sounds like. We're going to turn up the attack. I'm going to release a little bit. I'm going to have the LFO going into the FM. I'm going to move the rate down a little. Um, what are we going to do? Three, four. the FM up, amount up a little. Okay, we're going to move this filter envelope up a little bit. We're going to move the amp envelope up. Okay, and both at zero. Um, what else am I going to do here? I'll leave it there for now. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to move this up to 2. If you look, when we create the arpeggiator, the RPG-8, it connects up automatically to the subtractor, so everything's cool there. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to move this to 2 octaves, we're going to move this to low. And so that's our arpeggiator at work. Um, we are also going to take um, under this device, we're going to create a spider audio merger and splitter. We're now going to select, hold the shift key down to select both the subtractor and the RPG-8. We're going to take that and we're going to duplicate the devices and tracks. So now we have a complete duplicate underneath and on the arpeggiator on the bottom, we're going to change this a little bit. We're going to keep it at two octaves, but we're going to change this to be high on the insert, and we're going to change this to be down on the arpeggiator. So now when you play it, okay, um, you're not going to hear anything just yet, though. So let's reroute this. We're going to send this to the right and we're going to take this down to the left. We're going to send one split out here, and we're also going to hold our shift key down, and we're going to create a unison device, and we're going to send one split to the unison, and another split back out here. So you've got one that's detuned completely, 16, detuned mount is going to be 40, and dry wet's going to be 127, that's the default. So this is going to be your unison device, the affected device, and this is going to be your um, dry signal here. So when you listen to it, you're going to hear the left and the right moving along differently. So that adds a little bit more depth. Um, what I'll do is I'll move this down to 80 for both of them. There we go. So now that it's a little bit lower. And if you want, you can even pan them a little bit. Pan minus 12, plus 12 or so. Okay, maybe not that much. 
Come on. There we go. So now we listen to it. And now you have two that are tuned differently. So let's select our subtractor and we're going to create a chorus device, chorus flanger. And underneath the other subtractor, we're going to create another chorus flanger. Okay, so now when we listen to it. giving it a little bit of an awkward sound so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually undo what I just did let's just remove that and remove the chorus and flanger so we'll just keep it like this okay so there's your basic patch and what you've now done is you've basically created two different um, arpeggiators to go into two different lines and also used a unison to kind of fatten it up a little bit that's the tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed this. I um, hope that gives you some new ideas and inspiration. Again, I'm Rob, and you can come visit me at reason101.net. Thanks for listening.